guys, today we are going to be looking at everything in regards to Season 1 Reloaded in Modern Warfare 3, Warzone and Zombies. Now, obviously, I've done plenty of videos discussing potentially what's going to be happening, but we've had official confirmation on everything that will be happening in Season 1 Reloaded, which will be happening next week on the 17th of January. We will get Season 1 Reloaded, which is pretty cool. We've been needing some fresh new content coming up. Now, as it stands, the Battle Pass is coming to an end, so that means in 27 days we will be having season two as well so there's a lot of things that's going to be happening for that a lot of content to come and you guys definitely need to stay tuned for that but the battle pass is not quite yet over and people may ask why but there's a classified section and it says classified for six days now what are we going to be getting could it be a new operator could it be a new dlc weapon that they've not announced who knows so we'll find out in six days potentially it is just to do with the boys event maybe we'll get a boys operator completely free from challenges who knows uh, it's just a matter of waiting and seeing what might happen but hopefully we'll get some leaks and information in regards to season 2 battle pass moving forward but anyway guys if you do enjoy today's video make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications with all being said let's actually jump into all the news in regards to uh, season 1 reload so like i said they did do a big blog post on everything that is going to be happening of course we are going to get the brand new 6v6 Rio multiplayer map and we're also going to get like some new game modes etc rank play is going to be coming in so let's have a look at everything Thing that they have discussed so first of all the new 6v6 multiplayer map deploy to rio a new core map that challenges operators to a street fight in an upscale shopping center introducing team gunfight infected headquarters compete across three new multiplayer modes then obviously we're going to get the boys limited challenge event so we'll get the souped up version of kill confirmed featuring power boosts and earn in-game uh, rewards for completing tasks in the boys soup siege event challenge and then also rank play is returning so it will be the first season of rank play states here to fight like pros and rise through the ranks but honestly we're doing that in regular lobbies anyway with skill based matchmaking uh i'll throw some images up of the real map it looks pretty sick to be fair like i say it's a bit of a shopping center quite a small map so it, there's going to be some head-on gunfights pretty much straight from spawn so probably a little bit like meat i would imagine so the boys soup siege then so there's going to be the soup siege coming for modern warfare 3 the boys event so prove that you belong with the soup by completing six challenges in the boys soup siege event challenges the challenges are as follows so get one operator heat vision elimination in the boys mode rewards a calling card deactivate 20 pieces of equipment using ddos reward is an emblem get four operator eliminations using the mtz 762 and you do get a battle pass tier skip which will be useful for next season get two operator eliminations in a single life with the overkill vest equipped five times you will get a large decal for that reward get 15 operator akimbo eliminations and the reward is a weapon charm and then lastly get seven operator eliminations using lethal equipment and the reward is double xp token now the master reward complete all six challenges to earn the boys special lmg weapon blueprint featuring four attachments equipped with a whopping 150 round drum but then it says here clutch up so like i said we've got rank play is here as uh, so the season one will start right away you will actually be able to get yourself uh, some different variants of the operator skin uh, so basically every time you rank up bronze silver gold etc you will get a new variant of the operator so with rank play then there's going to be obviously seasonal um rewards that you guys can unlock so season one skill division rewards uh, so while the above rewards are earned in season after winning a certain number of matches the skill division rewards are handed out at the end of the season based on your best skill division obtained during that time so bronze and silver players who reach the silver or bronze skill division will be awarded with a accompanying season one emblem gold through crimson players who reach gold through crimson will also receive new rank player themed operator skins and weapon charms in addition to the skill division animated emblem reward iridescent reach the iridescent skill division to earn the modern warfare 3 season one iridescent animated calling card in addition to the skill division operator skins animated emblem and weapon charm rewards top 250 the best of the best will earn the top 250 operator skins a weapon charm a unique animated emblem and calling card for those who finish between second and 250 and a unique one-of-a-kind animated emblem and calling card for the number one ranked player of the season zombies overview then so taking on a new warlord a new warlord enters the exclusion zone in the form of south korean born docker b defeat her if you can to earn high tier loot now obviously i mentioned that she was coming in 
for quite some time uh, as it was in the original roadmap for season one so it states here then in regards to Dokkabi prepare for a new challenge in the form of South Korean born Dokkabi a key lieutenant within Terminus outcomes Dokkabi boasts a deep understanding of electronic warfare with access to a fleet of self-programmed autonomous drones ready to attack operator dead ball operatives on site operators will find Dokkabi's fortress at the top of the skyscraper in Zaravan City a technological savant the warlord uses drones turrets and a Wilson as her main line of defense squad skilled enough to get past her initial detriments will find an elusive opponent equally capable of evasion and attack so in regards to warzone then guys there's quite a bit of content coming for warzone as well uh, so you can attempt the champions quest achieve champions domination by completing a brand new quest for Urzukstan. attempt this multi-part challenge to instigate a devastating end game gulag night vision public event so battle in the dark using night vision goggles in this public event that cuts the lights in the gulag grab the weapon case so a weapon case objective is available for the first time in battle royale players can now battle over a single weapon case hidden a search area at the start of every match to spice up some early game a new way to escape then so players can now exfil the match early with the help of a covert exfil offering a new win condition for those able to pay the price for the ride out if you can secure it so there will be a specific location where you can purchase the exfil from and ride out it would cost quite a bit uh, for you guys to be able to exfil as well in all honesty i'm not too keen on that feature coming in um i do feel like it, the the less skilled players who are not going to get many wins will be definitely taking advantage of this just to get their wars on wins maybe it might have its own game mode and they'll keep battle royale as it is potentially who knows but like i said i'm not too keen on that personally myself but in regards to champions domination then so you will get a brand new skin um if you complete this you'll get the nuke skin so the infamous champions quest makes its debut in Urzakstan, challenging players with a new high level task that will test all your squad's collective skills in an attempt to witness an extremely explosive final the first step then win 30 games total within a season or five consecutive matches complete that and the next steps will fall into place only the most elite squads need apply so there's the new gulag then so we're going to get in this new gulag public event the lights in the gulag will go out setting up an epic night vision scrimmage that will put your fighting abilities to the test secure the win to return to the mat and leave your opponents in the dark i'm not too sure what i think about that in all honesty i think it's all right but it's not very popular uh, for myself I, I wouldn't be too happy about being in the dark fighting i'd rather just have the lights on to be fair um a single weapon case then spawns in a small search area that at the start of every match once found the player holding the weapon case is marked for all enemies in the match if a player holding the case manages to stay alive at the end of the match or their squad ex exits the map using a helicopter called in by purchasing a cover exfil they and their teammates earn exclusive rewards so that's how the weapon case uh, will be working in warzone so two new weapons then we're going to get the hmr9 smg uh, like i mentioned in a couple of videos like i said that was all in the roadmap at the beginning and then the attack evolver will be in there as well for you guys to go ahead and use and then we are going to be getting a tracer pack the boys a train operator bundle and same with firecracker operator bundle as well and we will be seeing the return of some of the older boys bundles that was in there before but that is pretty much everything in regards to what to expect there's literally uh, a lot of content that's going to be season one reloaded it won't be long before we start seeing everything in regards uh, to season two so you definitely want to make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notice on because you don't want to miss a single video i am pretty much posting daily so you guys can get all the latest news in regards to call of duty modern warfare 3 and warzone but anyway guys i appreciate every single one of you tuning in in today's video if you've enjoyed it drop a like subscribe if you're new but as always guys i'll catch you on the next video